I'm done. Hi. You remember my last video when I'm whining like a little child? Well, I decided to stop that behavior and look at the bright side of life, which is um, that I'm still alive. I've been back in New York City for three weeks and at the most New York City things happened to me. I got my bike stolen. <sighs> I found a mouse in my kitchen. So it turned out that there is a little hole behind the gas and then mouse would come in and come out. So I waited for it to leave my apartment so I could put a tape on it. I had a dream yesterday that they were back and instead of one, there were five of them. So that's a trauma for you, my friends. If you think that New York is really the way it's advertised, I envy your innocency. Just stay New York virgin, please. Ignorance is a bliss, sis. It's minus five degrees outside. No whining, I said. Haha, <laughs> it's minus five degrees outside. <laughs> I feel so silly today. Anyway, I need to get out because I'm nauseous of being inside for three weeks straight. And I was thinking maybe I can go down to the beach. It's gonna be beautiful. The sand, the snow, the water, wind that's gonna freeze my ass off. But I really need to get out. Don't know what's the point of this video, but we'll figure it out. I need gloves hoodie, turtleneck inside a hoodie, socks, and other socks, yoga pants, jeans. Before we go anywhere, I wanna make a little sandwich. Homemade pesto, store-bought hummus, Persian cucumber that's grown in Mexico, triple wash ready-to-use salad, and my favorite pickles. I feel like a little cabbage. This is beautiful. This is where we're going, Kanye Island. the only person in the entire car and that doesn't happen in New York I guess it's Friday morning and it's snowing and nobody wants to go to the beach except for this crazy person here nobody but look at this I mean this is luxury <laughs> one thing The doors were open unexpectedly and I got scared. <laughs> That's where we're going. New York City is a city with sub-cities within a city. Sorry for the repetition, but you get the idea, right? So neighborhoods are very different. Sometimes you walk for five minutes and you feel like you're in a different city and sometimes in a different country even. And New York subway is definitely like that. Like you walk down for 40 seconds and you end up being in a very different world. The world that's stinkier, dirtier, always delayed, not working properly. But you still love it. I don't know why, you still it inspires you. This mess, chaos, it is inspiring. 
speaking about cities within a city this is a very russian neighborhood you find a lot of uh, restaurants cafes and people usually speak russian here i only see three people but two of them spoke russian this is an amusement park which is closed now for obvious reasons who the hell would want to come here it's freaking freezing but I just wanted to say that I celebrated my 22nd birthday here with my lovely cousin and my brother. I love you both. Elena, it's your birthday coming soon. Happy birthday. I love you very much. We sat on this thunderbolt for two times and on the second round I was this, this close to throwing up. And sometimes I wonder, maybe the person who suffers with motion sickness that much shouldn't be traveling all the time. But then I'm like, it ain't gonna stop me. And it won't. You see this, right? So there's a boardwalk, there's an amusement park, there are some uh, restaurants, usually seafood restaurants. This is exactly what's happening everywhere in the East Coast. It doesn't matter if you go to New Jersey or all the way up to Maine. It's same, it's so same, same, which is a little boring, but it works for them, it works for Americans. So who am I to complain? Go grandpa, go. Now I want to make a short video of like details of the ocean and I want to like zoom in these little things that usually are not recognizable on the broad perspective, you know, so Let's see how it's gonna come out. I made something like this in this video, so I'm inspired to do it again All right, that's all I could find. I'm not really too happy about the shots, but it is what it is. I'm very hungry. I'm gonna find a spot and sit down and eat now. I've done this countless times, you know? I come here, I eat my food, I take pictures, I think about life. <laughs> and this is the first time I put the vlog together, so that's exciting. Thank you for hanging out again. Which ended up being really good. And Moroccan mint tea, which is probably not from Morocco. Oh, it's hot. Never mind. Coney Island is definitely one of the iconic New York places. They mention it in many movies. David Bowie and Ella Fitzgerald mention it in a couple of their songs. This place is very crowded in summer, believe me. Like, as crowded as Times Square can be sometimes. But not today, not today. 
I see a lot of teenagers here now. I think the school is done. The kids are out of school. I think I'm ready to go home now, but before I head back, I want to tell you a quick story. So I landed in JFK uh, a month ago. That's an airport in New York. And when I was just about to leave the airport, this police officer stopped me and started asking questions because I guess traveling in Mexico for three months seemed suspicious for him and he thought I had some drugs with me. So he started asking all these very, very personal questions. Then he found the pottery I made, found this Spanish language notebook and he realized that I was not a criminal, so he let me go. But I was held there for like 20 minutes and asked all these questions and I have a friend who has uh, tattoos and dreadlocks and he always mentions that he gets interrogated like this in the airports and I could never relate to his problem. I could never empathize because I was like, you're innocent and why don't you just like answer those questions and they let you go. But now I know what it is to be accused of doing something that you've never done and it's, it's humiliating really, insulting and humiliating. I was thinking about that story for a long time after leaving the airport and I felt bad for that employee because, you know, this whole trip to, to Mexico for me was about trusting people and connecting to strangers. But for him, it's all about being suspicious, you know, suspicious about people. Me? A drug dealer? Like, seriously? Anyways, love you all. If you came so far, I would really appreciate if you click that like button and subscribe that helps my youtube channel a lot a lot a lot i love you very much i'll see you soon from new york city bye bye